What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Kicker Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button up here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now we are on video 5 in our series of the SSI Open Water Diver Program skill sets. And in today's video, we're going to look at all the out of air emergency skills that your instructor is going to teach you. Now I do want to make a quick disclaimer, please do not use this video or any of the videos in this series for you to go out and dive. Make sure you're seeking out proper training from your local SSI open water diver instructor. So with that being said, let's jump into today's skill set. So the first skill that we're going to look at is a simple primary donate. Your buddy signals help, out of air, share air. You're going to donate your primary and switch over to your alternate. Then you want to latch on to the shoulder strap of each diver and then each diver is going to want to have one hand free to help manipulate buoyancy on the way up. Then you're going to repeat that skill set where you become the receiving diver. You're going to say help, out of air, share air. Your buddy is going to donate his primary and switch over to his alternate. Now during your course you're going to learn why we prefer primary donate over over the alternate donate system. However, you're going to learn really quick. We actually teach both skills. Here at my buddy said help out of air share air and I am going to donate my alternate system or my alternate second stage. And one of the reasons that we do this is let's say a diver is diving with a full face mask. Obviously, he cannot donate his primary because it is his full face mask. So he would have to donate his alternate. Then of course, you're going to switch roles once again and your buddy is going to donate over to you. As I stated earlier, you want to make sure that you latch on to each other, give good hand signals, and then of course both of you can slowly make a safe ascent to the surface. Now you're going to do that in a stationary position and during an ascent. This next one is called an emergency swim and ascent. This is where you're out of air and let's say you're at depths 30 foot or shallower. Your buddy's not close enough to render aid to you. Of course you can swim up while exhaling all the way to the surface. You're going to keep one hand on your exhaust, one hand on your weights, and of course you are going to exhale all the way to the surface. Now remember this is a swimming ascent so it's just going to be a normal slow safe ascent. No faster than 30 feet per minute or a foot every two seconds. So as I ascend to the surface I exhale. I got my hand on my exhaust. I got my hand on my weight so as soon as I reach the surface of course I can ditch my weights and then of course I can orally inflate as well. Now you will see this oral inflation or this bobbing method later on but this is just a quick view from the bottom what it looks like. Now once I've done that of course I'm going to uh, reach repeat this skill, but I'm going to do what's called an emergency buoyant ascent. And during the emergency buoyant ascent, it's basically the same scenario, except you're deeper than 30 feet, your buddy's nowhere there to help you, and you have got to get to the surface. In this case, I'm going to ditch all my weight, I'm going to flare my body out to create drag so I don't have too rapid of a descent, and I'm going to exhale all the way up. So here I'm out of air, I'm going to remove all my weights, and then of course I am going to just flare my body to help slow the ascent phase down. I'm going to exhale all the way to the surface. Surface. And then once I get to the surface, I'm going to have to orally inflate my BCD. Once again, using the bobbin method to stay afloat once I'm at the surface. Now at the surface of course I can switch over to a snorkel if I need to so that I can breathe easily at the surface. Here's a great example of the bobbing method. All you're going to do is just bob up and down so you're not having to tread water the entire time while oral inflation. It makes it uh, so easy to do and it makes it much more comfortable when you're in the water. So here you go guys, that's going to do it for video 5 of our series of the SSI Open Water Diver skill sets. As I stated in previous videos, please do not use this video nor any of the videos in this series for you to go out and scuba dive. Please make sure you're seeking out proper training from your local SSI scuba instructor. If you got any questions on any of the skills you did see though, drop me a comment down below and I'll try to answer your questions the best I can. But stay tuned, in video 6 of this series we're going to be looking at underwater propulsion techniques that open water students learn during their program. But until then, take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.